Are you looking for a great way to use video this year? Are you looking to up your game? Perhaps use video to create interactive quizzes, simple and easy to use video tutorials, or integrate video in your Google Classroom and Microsoft Teams applications. And today's episode of EdTech in the Classroom, we have a fantastic application for you, and it's all coming your way right now. Hello everybody, my name is Jeff Bradbury from the TeacherCast Educational Network and today we are going to take a look at one of my favorite applications for creating, storing, sharing and manipulating video. That's right, today we're talking all about SchoolTube. What is SchoolTube? SchoolTube is a free application that's going to help you guys create and distribute and teach with video but not just any video, interactive video, video that you're gonna create on your own and video that you can even pull in from other sites such as YouTube to make sure that you're giving your students a great location to teach, learn and collaborate with each other. Let's jump in today into SchoolTube. So here we are at SchoolTube.com, a really nice website and very, very easy to use and navigate. So let's take a look at how you sign up. You're gonna love the fact that not only are students and parents using SchoolTube to create videos, share videos, but also teachers are using it. And by the way, it has a great platform for an entire school district if you're interested. One of the things I love about SchoolTube is that it has single sign-on options for Clever, Google, Schoology, Classlink, Microsoft 365, Canvas, Blackboard, you name it. If your school district has a single sign-on application, SchoolTube is that place for you. Now, to get started, it's very easy. You can certainly come over here to schooltube.com and sign up for an account, whether you be a teacher or a student. You can see here all the great things. First of all, SchoolTube is COPA and ADA compliant. One of the reasons why I like it, one of the reasons why I recommend it, it is student and data safe. You get unlimited video hosting, you get brandable channels, you get audio and video production applications, great ones that you'd be able to use in the classrooms. You have so many things out here. And not only that, they've also got some great premium features, including ad-free viewing, virtual classroom, Powtoons integration, watch it, lots of great things going on here. If we go in here, you'll notice that for teachers, it's only $39 for the year or for school districts, it's only $2. Now, that is a great price for school districts. So certainly check out that stuff and continue, you know, consider unlocking the SchoolTube ad-free and all the other great stuff for your school district today, okay? You notice that they also have a great virtual classroom and digital studio options here. So a lot of great things for SchoolTube, but let's jump in and figure out how do we get into SchoolTube and how do we start creating your digital classrooms? So here we are in SchoolTube, and you can see that I'm logged in under my TeacherCast account. First thing I'm going to want to do is to do a search. One of the nice things about SchoolTube is it has millions of great educational videos created by teachers, created by students. You know that when you're searching for this, it is safe and easy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a search here for cell division. Now you're going to notice that as soon as I come up here, this gives me options that both teachers and students have created and also neat on here is it shows me a whole bunch of different channels or collections of videos with similar topics. Let's take a look here at one of these videos. You can see it's a five minute video. It's called cell division and the cell cycle. I've got a few different tags on here. So as you can see, I've got some great details of this video here. I can always share it here. I've got the link to my media page. I can embed it. I can email it. I can even give a starting time. One of the neat things I like about these pages is if I click on this video here and I copy the link, if I can copy and paste, I can actually take this link and I can include it over here in my Google Classroom. For instance, let's say that I was creating a classwork. I can make an assignment and I can say, uh, check out this video. And if I click over here on to add, I can add a link directly into that file. And of course, I can use that in my assignments. I can also use that for materials. Lots of great things that I can do with these videos. But that's not all. Pretend that you're not using a Google application for right now. Maybe you're in the Microsoft world. I can take this link to the video, pop up over here in Microsoft Teams, and I can always share this. Up here in my team, I have my plus. 
And if I open this up, I can create a website tab and I can say school tube video and I can paste the link right into here. And if I save it, this automatically embeds the video into my Microsoft team. So you can see that SchoolTube is pretty cool because it works both on the Google end and on the Microsoft end, and it works great for your learning management system. Let's see what else we can do with this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here onto TeacherCast, and I'm gonna check out some of the great things. First of all, you can see my media. This is all the videos that I have created. You can see my channels. And a channel is really good if you're creating classes or subject areas or videos of like kinds. You can see here that I've got a variety of channels. And over here, I'm going to create my own channel. So I'm going to name this Teacher Cast Demo Channel. And I'm going to say, I want to uh, say here, my video channel. For teacher cast demonstrations over here under tags teacher cast and demo and video tutorial so i've got three tags i can choose to make this private meaning only the people who i invite into the channel or i can make this public and that's what i'm going to do right now i've also got some other options to enable subscription to the channel meaning whenever i add videos to it somebody gets a notification I can also enable the new row live room. I'm gonna click on save. All right, and here is my information. You can see it's already saved on here. I'm gonna go over to theme and I can enable the channel carousel. I can say I want my most recent videos or I can choose a playlist. I can say what my first tab is. I can add a channel player set, uh, the default here. I can also change my theme. You can see I've got a lot of different things here. I'm gonna hit submit. Over here, I've got options for my playlist. I, don't, I haven't created a video playlist yet. We're going to do that in a second. Uh, you can see how many users are in here. This might be students of mine or other teachers. And if I want, I can have collaboration so I can bring in other collaborators into here and uh, they can share the information. So let's go back to my video. Again, I'm going to do a search for cell division. And I'm going to bring this up. And what I want to do is I'm going to take this under actions. I'm going to stick this into add to playlist. And let's see, I'm going to create my new playlist. And this is going to be called teacher cast demo playlist. If I create here, I do like this watch later feature. I do that a lot. And I'm going to click on add. And so now I've got this in my playlist. If I pop up over here, you can see my channel. You can see my playlists. I'm going to click on playlist. And here's my video under watch later. And here is that video. Now, again, let's take a look at some of the things that we can do with this demo playlist. You notice up here, if I click on here, I'm now in my playlist. Here's the video. Here's other videos that I have access to. You can see that this video here has been looked at 302 times. I can always play this. I can cast this. So this is really neat. I can cast this out to a TV or a smart board or a, an interactive display, something like that. Really, really neat stuff. I can also do closed captioning. I can do um, playback speed. Or I can always expand the player screen to being full width. That's a really neat feature here. But what I want to do is I want to take this playlist, and just like we showed you earlier, I'm going to take this, add this into Google Classroom. All right, I, again, I can just take the link and add this in here. So I've got my video. I've got a playlist. Same thing. If I'm over here in Teams, I can pop on that plus button, click on their website, school tube playlist here i am hit the save button and now not only do i have my video saved up here as a tab but i've got my playlist too with multiple videos so lots of neat things that we can do to expand the use of school tube both in google and in our microsoft world so the next thing i want to show you guys how to do is to create videos how to add a video into school tube and it's really that easy to, and it's really easy. All we have to do is click up here on add new. And what do I want to add? Do I want to add a media, meaning I want to bring a video into school to from my hard drive? Do I want to express capture, meaning do I want to create a video? Uh, do I want to bring a YouTube video in? Let's do a couple of these right now. First thing, I want to do a media upload. So I'm going to click on media upload. 
And here I can either drop a file or I can choose a file from my hard drive. And here I am uploading one of our recent podcasts. And again, I can have a video, I can add my tags. And once this gets done, voila, I will have my video. The next way we want to start a video is we're going to click over here and add new and go to express capture. Now what this is going to do is ask me how I would like to record my media. Notice the first thing it says is, does it want to use my microphone and my camera? I say yes, and now it's pulling from my camera here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the red button. And three, two, one, it's starting to record. This is a great way to record video screencasts and do instructional type videos for professional development or for your students. When I'm finished with this, I'm going to click on the button. And it starts to play automatically. You can see I can record again, download the video. That's pretty cool. Or I can use this. And now it's going to upload. I can put a video recording on. I can put a description and some tags and I hit save. And in a couple seconds here, I have my video. So here you can see I have my video, real simple, real easy to go. I can still come down here and I can share this, I can embed it. I can also publish this, add to my playlist and I can even check out my analytics and I can do a lot of other neat things here we'll explain uh, a little bit later. Next thing I wanna show you guys here, if I click on add new, I can click on YouTube. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna take a YouTube video and bring it into SchoolTube. So let's do that right now. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask me for my video page link. Let's go find one of those. So here I am on our TeacherCast YouTube channel. And what I want to do is I want to click on the video URL. And I'm going to go back into SchoolTube. And I'm going to paste this in the box. And I'm going to preview it. Notice it says you're only the public YouTube video. So here's my video. It's now ingested everything. And when that's finished, I'm going to hit the pause here. I can change the name. I can change the description. I can add tags. So this is a real nice way to bring in content from YouTube and put it into, for instance, your class playlist, your class channel, share it into, again, your, your school tube or your, uh, your, your, your Teams or your Google Classroom environment. Got my publish, private, schools, see who it is. Lots of great stuff that I can do here with YouTube videos, bringing them into school tube. Okay, so the next way I want to show you guys how to create and use video in SchoolTube is to come over here to add new again, and we're going to do a screen and audio recording. Think of this as your video tutorials. If I click over here, it's going to take me to a screen. It is going to ask you to download a little desktop client. doesn't take too long. I'm now going to click on open the Kaltura capture application. And here we have it right here. You can see we have a record button and I want to record what? I want to record one of my desktops, a full screen, a selected area. I can choose the camera that I want. There I am again. Boo. I can also choose which audio device I want, whether it be my native or a microphone. I can do a lot of things here. I don't want to take all the time in the world because it is a really, really robust option. Uh, perhaps we'll do a whole video recording on that. But you can see here, all I got to do is hit on the record button and it starts to record your screen and then you can save that video directly into SchoolTube. Okay, now there's one more feature here I am extremely excited about in SchoolTube. It's the ability to take video and add an interactive quiz to this. I am so excited about it. Let's jump in right now. The first thing that we wanna do is we wanna click on the add new, and we're gonna come down here to video quiz. And so here we have all of the videos that we've created. And what it's going to ask us to do now is to select the video that we want to create the quiz around. So I'm going to take this video here and I'm going to click on select. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us a menu here of items. You can see we're creating a quiz. Our details, we can change the quiz name. We can actually change this differently from what the video is. So I'm going to say my video quiz okay i can show it on the welcome page all right i've got my scores meaning i can show the ability for the students to have multiple attempts i can say don't show your score i can show scores and i can also include the answers now under experience you've got a whole bunch of different answers from allow answers to change skip not skipping let's take a look 
here I have my video, and let's say that I want to have the students get to about this part in the video here. Now, what I want to do is I want to click on Ask Question, and what do I want? Multiple choice, true, false, reflection, open-ended. I'm going to click on multiple choice. What's my question? How are you today? And the correct answer is wonderful. And let's see, not bad. And over here I can say um, kind of friendly. When I'm finished, I'm going to hit save. And so now I have my question point. And if my students are looking at this, they're going to get to this point and the quiz is going to pop up. Let's try that again. I'm going to pop in over here and add a question to it. Let's say I'm going to do a true false. Um, what is my favorite color? And over here we can say blue or red. And over here I've got the answer. And now I've got a true false question here. This is pretty awesome. Right, so if I hit preview and I'm looking at this and I start playing, notice now I've got my video, now I've got my intro. And as this is going through, it's going to get to number one. And let's see what's going to end up happening here as this stops. Now I've got my quiz. You can see how easy that is. How are you today? And of course the answer is wonderful. I'm gonna hit select and now it's gonna spin and I'm gonna come over here. If I get to this part here, now it's gonna ask me another question. What's my favorite color? I'm gonna hit the answer here. And of course, now you can see I can go through. So look, this is great. Not only do I have this, not only can I share this, I can embed it, right? Like I can now take this and I can share this out on YouTube. I can share this out on Teams. I can share this out on Google. Lots of great things that I can do here as far as taking videos and making quizzes. And don't worry, we're going to do a full video breakdown of this on TeacherCast. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out all the other great things that we have over on TeacherCast as we go through. So as you can see, that's just some of the great features of SchoolTube. I love this application, not only because it's free, but also because if you are interested in picking up the premium version for your district or for your classroom, it actually really is cost effective. Only about $2 a student for your districts, and that is an amazing price. So check out all that great stuff over at SchoolTube.com, and you can find out all the great stuff. And that wraps up this episode of EdTech in the Classroom. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Don't forget to check out all the great stuff right here on our YouTube, uh, YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And on behalf of everybody here in the Teacher Cast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students. Hey guys, Jeff here. If you like this video, once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, smash anything that you want on the screen, and please leave a comment below. We would love to have you guys check everything out today right here on the Teacher Cast Educational Network.